have you been up to the last year? Uh, mainly working out. Uh, I went and played a little bit in Canada and just trying to get ready, trying to make another team. What was that experience like playing in Canada? Uh, it, was, it was really different, man. Uh, football is it's football, but it's a lot different. It's, you got to learn a lot of different things. So small little rule changes can change everything. So it's, Where were you at in Canada? How long were you there? Uh, I played in the preseason for Toronto, the Toronto Argonauts. What was that like? going to Toronto for a little bit? Uh, it was an experience. It's my first time out of the country. Uh, I mean, where I was, the city was kind of like Columbia. We were on the college campus doing camp and stuff. The guys were nice. I mean, a lot of guys and big-name guys I actually watched in college. <laughs> so, I mean, it was kind of cool getting to play with these guys. I saw on TV and was like, oh, yeah, this dude is great. I'm trying to... Who are some of the guys? Uh, uh, Will Campbell. He used to be number 73 for Michigan. I know I used to watch him. I mean, it, it was like I didn't realize who he was at first because he switched the offensive line. And I was like, oh, man, I used to watch him on TV all the time. <laughs> was there a big, you know, I guess, welcome to Canada professional football for you? Uh, there, was there a moment where you're like, oh, crap, I'm kind of here now? Uh, when we first got off the plane and got on the little van and was taking us to the place, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is this is different, new different. I mean, I was just kind of looking around and everything. I even looked at the little speedometer. I saw <laughs> kilometers. I was like, this is not right. <laughs> Anything you did today? Uh, I feel like I did better. And, uh, I saw some improvement from last year. I just hated I pulled my hamstring right down to 40. So I kind of missed out on the last little parts. But I think it's been a, a lot better day than last year, for sure. So have you have been living up in Dillon, living down here? Uh, I've been up in Dillon, just kind of training and stuff down there. It's just a lot easier. Is Toronto a little bit, a little bit different than Dillon? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's night and day. I mean, going from the city, you have like a train going by you at all times of the day. And they're going to like, yeah, we have like five stoplights. What, what is kind of the biggest hope? to be able to get out of this, and, and if it doesn't work out, what are you, what are you kind of your next plan? Uh, right now, biggest hope is uh, making another football team, whether it be here, Canada. I know they have the new AF or the NFL is the biggest pressure, but uh, if not, I'll probably be coming back here to work probably either with football or something with law enforcement, criminal justice, somewhere in that area. Like or USC or work with you? Uh, probably USC.